So we're gonna do uh, one more poem each, poem each, and then we're gonna show you some movies. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do some more for y'all. Does that sound good? How many motherfuckers <laughs> up in here are in love? Make some noise. Woo! <laughs> it's supposed to be a positive thing. <laughs> Where are the single folks at? Single folks? Sit home and jack off all you want, no one cares. Just have as many horrible, drunken, blackout one night stands as you want. You know? So actually, I'm in love with a girl that I met here in Santa Cruz, God bless. Let me tell you, I was really high. Uh, so this is, a, this is a very sentimental poem, and I wanted to tell her how I loved her, so I wrote a poem about animals fucking. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yes! The male brain mantis can't have an orgasm unless he's decapitated. Woo! The female rips his head off while his pelvis keeps pumping. Proof that even in the insect world, dicks don't need a brain to do their job. <laughs> Spider can consume up to 20 mates in a single day. Honeybee's genitals explode and snap off inside their queen to ensure that no sloppy seconds can fit. Female brown trout fake orgasms so the males will prematurely ejaculate so they can swim off to find a better mate. Mother's nature form of eliminating. <laughs> when a male porcupine meets a girl he likes, they face belly to belly, big shock, before it coats her head to toe in the hot, sturming, hot steaming urine that can shoot up to six feet. Yet despite this delicious little practice, they're the only animal that makes 365 days a year without being in heat. When it comes to Mother Nature, primates are the definition of boring sex. Hell, even canines probably took doggy style first. A silverback gorilla has got an eight inch cat. A banana slug has got eight. One less than its total body length. And an Argentine leg duck has got 18 inches shaped like a corkscrew, long enough to lasso back an escaping mistress. You see, us monkeys ain't all that special. But we'll never be convinced, thinking we're the rooster's cock of the walk, when even a dolphin has a retractable penis and a pig's orgasm lasts for 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. 30 minutes, y'all. Who ate bacon today? 30 minutes. <laughs> Maybe that's why we fell in love at the Oakland Zoo. Two bipedal primates on a Monday morning trying to decide where we stood underneath the birds and the bees. It'd been two weeks of trying to slither through each other's lives cold-blooded, but we had too much shed skin and no new coat to show for. The night before, we scared each other when we woke up wrapped hotter than a chain of orangutans. We'd been circling each other like sharks over a bleeding dolphin trying to decide if we should evolve and give an opposable thumb up or down to monogamy. When we dated, how a cat will kill 15 mice in a row before it finally stops. I didn't drag any bodies to your doorstep, but I could see the red hourglass on your belly and your ex-boyfriends in your teeth. Couldn't tell if I should buy you flowers or bring my own funeral wreath. So we went to the Oakland Zoo, the most ghetto zoo in California, the most <laughs> Oakland Zoo. Got a discount that day. <laughs> to watch the gibbons pick each other's fur clean. To listen to the parrots talk shit. To watch the alpha male chimpanzee beat the shit out of his tire swing just to impress the ladies. And I impressed my hand in yours, tied it into marsupial's pockets because I realized without DNA's version of love, the whole world would go extinct. Hmm. Maybe it was our pheromones. Something as simple as the animalistic need to breed to keep us coming past mutation and adaptation. But in the last 2,000 years, no new animal has ever been domesticated. And there's one million ants for every person in this room, but we're all hardwired to search for the one. And like a male black widow, we walk the web without a choice. Some say monogamy is natural, but I say sheep are natural and sheepskin condoms are man-made. Snakes see through their eyelids, butterflies hear through their knees, grasshoppers taste with their feet. 
I'm not a worm with ten hearts, be a maybe a hedgehog with only one that beats 3,000 times a minute. Too often I'm dated like a goldfish with a memory of only three seconds, but you remind me why moths drink the tears of elephants, why tapeworms love those who got guts. So this is my grasshopper serenade to the male black widow, the little man who walks the web, even if you see her hunger, waiting in eight lidless eyes, and her ex-boyfriend's dead under her silk-spun legs, he walks the web because he dares to think he's gonna be the only one that lives. Thank you. <laughs>